Hey everybody, it's Greg from Park Journey. Uh, so today we've got a new update from Universal Studios Hollywood, uh, checking out some of the work going on with Super Nintendo World, and there's some other stuff going on um, in other places of the park that we noticed when we were there on last Friday. So uh, we did our Magic Mountain update yesterday, um, and then today we're doing our Universal update. We actually uh, got these updates on the same day. Um, the funny thing with the Universal Studios update was we had actually gone to Horror Nights the night before, uh, and I had actually arrived at uh, Universal Studios you know, exactly 12 hours after we had left uh, Halloween Horror Nights, and then I had done Magic Mountain at opening, and then went over to Halloween or excuse me to Universal Studios Hollywood for this update so uh, it was a it was a full you know day and a half of um, you know Halloween and theme park stuff uh, so I didn't really do too much at, at Universal when I was there uh, I was pretty tired by the time uh, you know I kind of walked around a little bit um, so it you know don't get old actually do get old but you know age is catching up for uh, you know being able to do multiple days of things like that so um, you know, but it's still fun. I love it. So we're going to get right into the update. Uh, before we do, make sure you click below to subscribe to our channel. So as I mentioned uh, with our Magic Mountain update yesterday, it was an absolutely beautiful day in Southern California, as you can see here. Um, my main goal for the day was actually to get one of the Minion Halloween popcorn buckets. Apparently they had been sold out a couple days, a couple weeks, excuse me, before this even happened. But the park kept, you know, putting it out on their social media. So I kept looking. Um, I did notice that the Minion uh, water play area is under refurbishment, it looks like. Um, getting some paint and some, some love over there. Um, honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this uh, play area you know, is not um, around much longer, um, but we'll see. Um, you know, it is sitting on top of a parking structure, so there's not really too much that they can really do there. Um, I did take the studio tour. Um, I got actually one of the electric trams. So take that Disney, I got a working tram, and at that, an electric tram. Um, so here you can see some of the work going on with Super Nintendo World. That's the back of Bowser's Castle. Uh, it is definitely growing since our last uh, Super Nintendo World update in August. We did have a couple of pictures, you know, in a couple of our uh, Halloween Horror Nights updates, um, but nothing, you know, full, uh, you know, update that we're doing like we're doing today. Here is the backside of Super Nintendo World. Obviously not a whole lot to see here. But it does appear to be a little bit of a lighter shade of gray slash off-white than some of the sound stages. So that's kind of an interesting thing to maybe to differentiate them a little bit. Or maybe it's just because it's brand new paint. Could be. Um, and this day, again, I was there on Friday the 28th. Um, it was a very full day on the lot. You can see some, some PAs uh, waving at you from the uh, star, star wagon there. No, no stars out, but it was a very busy day on the back lot. Um, so if you definitely want to see, um, you know, I will suggest if you want to see uh, things being filmed, on the back lot and definitely go during the week instead of the weekend um, you will see a lot of activity there going on on the back lot um, and then moving towards the end of the tour uh, this is where the great outdoors house used to be falls lake area um, so the, the house was removed earlier this year and you can see here um, just a lot of empty land uh, still have no idea what is happening here um, if it's going to be something for a movie, if it's going to be for the studio tour, if it's maybe theme park um, expansion. You know, Fast and Furious is in the way between the theme park and this area, so we'll see what happens. Um, somebody had mentioned that this was going to be a new parking lot. Um, so, you know, we kind of speculated that maybe this is future home of the studio tour um, trams parking area, and then they can expand the theme park to where the trams usually are housed now so we'll see we'll see what happens um, you know Universal usually moves pretty quick with this stuff so we you know hopefully we'll have an idea soon what is going on over here and then obviously um, our Super Nintendo World uh, update portion 
you can see, um, again, a lot of work going in. We'll, we'll try and zoom in a little bit uh, to not make it too blurry. But over on the left, you have Bowser's Castle. And then on the right, you have all of the other stuff right in the middle there. Um, is more Super Nintendo World stuff. Obviously, this is going to look uh, kind of gray on the left, green on the right to match the mountains there. And then here, there you have the warp pipe at the bottom right hand corner. It's going to still be interesting to approach this and not really see it because of all of the tan buildings down there. Um, I, I still think it's very interesting that they didn't uh, do anything with, with any of that. Hopefully at some point when they um, expand the lower lot, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get a little bit more of a wow moment, you know, walking in. But, you know, walking through that uh, warp tunnel is going to be pretty amazing, you know, to get that reveal of Super Nintendo World. And we also are hearing some rumors about, um, you know, Simpsons and Transformers and Mummy at some point in the next, you know, five, six years, you know, being replaced. So, you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll keep an eye on, on that. Obviously, nothing solid as of yet. Um, some zoom in video. Uh, I will say the zoom in feature with the iPhone 13 is so much better than the 11 that we had. Um, you know, still, you know, I mean, you can only zoom in so much before you start getting distorted, but it, it does work really well. Um, so again, here is Bowser's Castle. And then moving down the Starway here, you can see a little bit more. And then more of an overview of the entire area, of course. So they are definitely picking up the pace on this. I would anticipate uh, a lot more being done here in the next few months. It's going to really start taking shape. As far as opening is concerned, um, we haven't heard anything specific. Um, you know, we're kind of guessing at this point, I would say late 22, maybe early 2023. You know, this is universal. They usually work pretty quick when it comes to stuff like this. So, um, you know, we're we're hoping that uh, you know something, you know, in that in that time frame. Uh, hopefully, we'll we'll you know know more in the next you know few months. They'll they'll put an opening date once they kind of get a get a grip on um, their construction timeline. You know, obviously it, it depends on that. It also depends on you know materials at this point. You know, we all know the supply lines are. You know, very thin right now, so I don't know if they've got everything they already need on site. Um, you know, things like steel and obviously all of the effects and all of the different things for the um, you know the rides, the attractions, um, you know, the, all that stuff. So you know, they've got to import all that from somewhere, or they've got to manufacture it. So we'll we'll see. Um, so that could definitely um, play into the timelines here a little bit, um, you know, but we would say at the very latest, probably summer 2023. Um, but again, that's, you know, that's still a year and a half, you know, almost two years away. So um, we'll see what happens with Super Nintendo World moving forward. All right, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Very much appreciated. As I mentioned in our Magic Mountain update, we'll start getting back into the normal you know, uh, update cycle um, for our theme parks here. Um, obviously, we'll be uh, visiting some holiday events um, very soon. Uh, Grinchmas is coming up at, and Christmas in the Wizarding World at Universal. Um, obviously, we have Holiday in the Park at, at Mansion Mountain, Mary Farm. Um, obviously, we'll be uh, going to Disneyland uh, at some point uh, to visit the holidays. We've already got our reservations for uh, a couple of days. Um, and we'll probably get down to SeaWorld at some point, too, for their Christmas celebration here. And then, obviously, we'll probably have some stuff from the Florida parks as well with their holiday events um, moving forward over the next few months. So we move from spooky to jolly. Uh, so it's kind of a, a an abrupt transition, um, but uh, we're, we're ready for it, uh, ready for some, some holiday fun. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon.